making people feel old, even while they're still exceptionally young, is a rather recent but most obscene tactic to sell products. It's nothing new. It's been happening for over 100 years, but it's now more common than ever. Really, if you're anything under 50 years of age and you're convinced that you're old, I mean, you're always aging. See, that's the uh, mental mechanism they prey on because you know you're aging. Aging is a factor, is a fact. You're always aging, but aging doesn't mean you're old. And that's how they prey on people's minds. And all they want is your cash. They don't care about anything else. They're fucking Zionists. They're fucking scum. They're interested in their fucking banks and what makes their world go around. They didn't care about your feelings and how you truly enjoy life. They need you to feel sad. They need you to feel old, even at 30. They need you to feel as if you need to look like this. A fucking prepubescent bum. A fucking bare-skinned white clown or, or female male. Are you serious? You think that's youth? Oh, my God. Proper youth by the Romans, you were still, you were still in your 30s and 40s. See, the concept of youth to the English-speaking world is completely false, and the scientists obviously uh, have to validate what their masters want them to validate. It's not scientific. Most of the public science you see is not actually science. They're all false tests, false statistics, false science. There's nothing scientific. It's not true science. You'll find true science in other places, but not in English-speaking countries publicly in that way, concerning age, concerning your skin, concerning this, concerning that. Okay, so again, if you're not highly suspect of commercials and advertisements, etc., trying to make you feel old in your fucking 30s of all, to, of all years, you're demented. You, there is something seriously wrong with your thinking. Even if you think, even if you're in your forties or fifty, even if you're in your fifties, if you feel old and you're in your fifties, you're a fucking idiot. You are as fucking dumb as they come. Okay, you're clearly not twenty anymore, and you clearly have expended a lot of years in your life, but that doesn't mean you're you're old or you wasted or you're used. So question what you see. I look at all these young people who's in their twenties and thirties and complain about their age, and I'm like. You're just starting your life. Jesus Christ. I can, oh, you can go back 100 or 200 years, and at this age, this is when people would tell you, you're just starting your life. And you're complaining, and you're out there looking for fucking miracles and racking your brains out about aging and etc. You funny cunts. On the contrary, it's good to stay healthy. It's good to put creams on and have good vitamins and stay in good health for as long as possible. But that's not the same thing as trying to beat something that's not occurring. You're not age. You're not old. You're not getting old. You're just aging. And in that regard, you're you're aging when you're one years old. You're aging when you're two. You're aging when you're five. So when you're five, I'm getting older. Think, think, people. It's quality in your years that matter and you don't stop having that till you're fucking 80 90 100 or quality is completely different to anything in every year can for you can be quality especially when you're fucking in your 30s or 40s jesus christ they're the golden years they're the best years of any human's life 30s and 40s you've come out of your teens and 20s major learning curve in 30s, 40s, and even 50s is where all the magic happens. Anyone that tells you otherwise is probably working for a Zionist dog trying to sell some fucking magic creams and all this stuff and wanting to take your money out of your pocket. Don't be stupid. Don't be conned. 